we're gonna do a little bit of tire uh, wood chopping with tire it works really good keeps the wood on the block uh, allows you to just move around and split really thankful for YouTube for this one saving me a lot of bending over You'll notice they'll catch the axe pretty frequently too, which is really nice. Knotty piece here. It does kind of catch the axe sometimes because it adds extra pressure of the tire, but it's totally worth it. more I've thought about it, there's definitely an ideal size for whatever style you like to split in. Cooking beans, chopping wood, time to go stir. I just just stir though, so I'll restart that. Keep working my way through here. A couple more swings. I'm gonna get these knots yet. really get small Just keep going through piece to piece one thing you're definitely going to want as you can see I'm hitting the shaft quite a bit to hold the wood in there the wood doesn't blow away you know I've seen a lot of different designs um, you get that rubber bumper one just about any hardware store but uh, you know I've used them before and it just makes the shaft so fat that it gets stuck even more than you'd want it to and uh, idea came to mind why not do some thick some thick wire so I ended up having to have some copper on hand and I think this is the 10 gauge grounding wire it's not the cheapest stuff but it's copper so it's super malleable quite durable much more so than like aluminum would be easier to work with than iron would be um, I thought about playing around with some uh, tie-in wire on one of the smaller axes you know regular old stuff that you get anywhere um, I'm really pleased with this you know it's like you bend it out of shape and you can get in there and shape it back up move it back up I've blasted this handle on this cheap $25 axe. I've blasted this handle who knows how many times and it's got plenty left in it. You know, I think it really does a good job of distributing all the energy so that uh, it's kind of minimized on the shaft. I've reset the wedges a couple times already so I know it's definitely doing its job. Here's another one just a little bit less used this one doesn't have quite as thick a handle so I don't quite like as much as the other one but works really good I think you know between uh, between having a spare tire around and wrapping your handles real good you can really just work it you can really just get into it To give you a clear idea of um, you know just how effective it is, you know sometimes you got to pull a couple pieces apart, but 
even though they're all held in there, they're split. They're split just about all the way through. So, you know, especially if you want to make some smaller pieces like I do for, for uh, you know, fire pit wood. This is, like here's one, it looks like it's all together. Start taking this thing apart and it's just nice little pieces that'll burn real fast, get good play. You know, of course you still can keep your bigger pieces too. Right? And then, you know, it really, really holds it in there. Even after it's half empty. You can still go at it. It just kind of keeps everything on the block really nicely. Allows you to rest wood up against it so you have an uneven, uneven surface, uneven bottom. Well, this piece is just about to get me fixed. One more time I ought to have it here. At least part of it. I think this one's gonna take me a while. Three and a half hours later, I think I'm starting to tire out. Anyways, just thought I'd show you that nice, uh, nice trick. Like I said, I really owe it, owe it to YouTube for saves me a ton of time. Oh, one other thing, I debated back and forth. I almost thought about making another stump where the tire's connected. Um, it's kind of nice though, not being connected. Get rid of all those little swivels for kindling or whatever you want to do with them. Also for larger diameter pieces that wouldn't fit inside the tire, uh, it comes in real handy to be able to move the tire on and off. I haven't found it to be too much of an issue. I always thought if need be, I could put some perimeter nails or something to hold it in place, but so far it's been working real nice to be, be able to have it move around like that not have to worry about hitting nails uh, alongside of it or whatever the case might be so anyways thanks YouTube